With interest rates still low and the threat of them increasing at a steady rate, now more than ever, buyers are feeling the pressure to move quickly to find their next home. What are some ways that you can speed up the process and in essence, help you to become the perfect client? That's what we're talking about today, so let's go. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Bryn Cook with Hearthstone Real Estate here in Eugene, Oregon. On this channel, I talk all about Eugene and give you some real estate tips along the way. I've worked with a lot of buyers over the years and I can usually tell right away which ones are going to be great to work with and those who may be more of a challenge. Now I'm not talking about personality alone. Working with different characters is part of the job. What I'm outlining today are the actions that you can take as a buyer in order to speed things up and make things go smoother when searching for your next home. Number one, have your ducks in a row with your financing. Find a good lender and start the pre-approval process prior to looking at homes. Turn in as much documentation ahead of time and know where your down payment is coming from. Make sure that your real estate agent and your lender are in contact and are working as a team to get your offer accepted once you're ready to go. Number two, get clear on what your priorities are. Take the time to think through what you really want in your next home. Is it the location, the school system, or is it the home itself? Knowing what your must-haves versus your nice-to-haves are is key. As time goes on in your search, knowing your priorities is a must. If you have to start bending on certain factors, you'll need to know where to start. Number three, find a good real estate agent and listen to them. Even if you have purchased and sold homes before, it's likely that it's been years since you've worked through the process. Your agent does this every day and they can help you understand exactly what to expect and develop a strategy for when that perfect home comes along. Doing your research and learning as much as you can from the agent up front by asking questions before you start your actual home search can help speed things up once you start looking at homes. Having to take days to absorb what's happening can mean the difference in missing out on the home of your dreams. It also makes things go smoother with fewer surprises down the road. Number four, communication is key. Keep in constant contact with your real estate agent. Finding a home in a seller's market can be an emotional roller coaster. Your agent is there to help guide you through the bumps along the way and absorb some of the stress. It's important to be transparent with your agent and let them know where your head is at during the search. Breaking down and ghosting your agent out of frustration doesn't help the situation. Agents deal with varying market conditions all of the time. If you're starting to freak out, be honest. More than likely, they'll have ideas to help you feel better and keep you on a clear path to home ownership. Number five, know yourself. What helps you during the decision-making process? Are you a verbal processor? Do you need to think through things? Maybe you're the type of person who needs to sleep on it. Are you more logical or do you depend on your gut feelings? Knowing that going in and clearly communicating that to your agent will also help. If you're someone who needs to take days to process and think through things, then maybe looking at homes with a quickly approaching deadline for offers won't be a good idea. Number six, drive by the property first. Yes, this seems like an easy one, but I'm always amazed at the number of people who don't do this. A home can look amazing in the photos online, but what you can't see is the huge factory down the street from it or hear that train two blocks away. If you're in the same town that you're looking, take a little bit of time to drive by first before you schedule that showing. Neighborhoods, blocks, and streets can vary significantly and it's important to see the broader picture at the onset. If you aren't in the same town, use different online sources such as Google Earth to take a virtual tour of the area. Your real estate agent is there as a resource as well. They may be willing to take a video tour for you of the neighborhood. It's not fun to schedule the showing, make the seller prep their home, drive there, and then have the buyer not want to get out of the car to see the place because they hate the area so much. It's a waste of everyone's time and it can easily be avoided. Now, for more information, make sure you check out the video I created that gives you tips on how to get your offer accepted in this competitive market. I'd love to hear from you. You can call, email, or leave a comment down below. I work hard to stay connected. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join me for my next video. Thanks so much for watching.